So now he's not there. Should have believed in him more. Hi, day 16 of lockdown and the world has gone crazy. Streets are empty, the whole world has shut down and now even Boris Johnson has coronavirus. I got this news yesterday. I really hope this, uh, this helps him understand the gravity of the situation and this sends a message to all those other politicians that are just playing games with their people. Very worrying. On the positive side, it looks like the earth is uh, replenishing and is recovering after uh, two weeks of us not polluting and not damaging the environment. There are encouraging signs of recovery for earth. Maybe, maybe we are the virus. Anyway, sometimes I think that I'm actually going crazy here talking to the camera, but I know that on the other side of it, over there, there are 256,000 people. And some of them even like us. It's really great. Okay, guys, today I'm gonna put together one of the most beautiful rescues that we have ever performed. And I know I always say that, but it's true, it's true. But this didn't happen, this didn't happen so long ago. This happened last summer. It was Hachiko's rescue. For those of you who were with us, then this is gonna be beautiful to watch again. It was a really great moment in our lives. And for those of you that are new, just enjoy. It's a long video, but watch it like if it was a movie. It's just beautiful. Have a look. This is Hachiko's Rescue. A couple of weeks ago, I saw a viral post on Board Panda and many other viral sites, telling the story of Rick Hachiko, a dog that had been living by the side of the road for two years at precisely the same spot where his owner died. The dog was there mourning his dead owner. When I saw it, I thought, what a beautiful story, how moving. I also thought, this dog doesn't want to be there. This dog needs to be out of there because he's going to be crashed by a car. What made it worse was that millions of people had watched this video and everybody was making their own stories in their heads, but no one was moving a finger. So I thought, we're going to go there. We're going to get the dog. What follows now is what happens the day we went. And this is, I tell you, it's an incredible story. You have to see it. Please. I also want to remind you that this is a video that is not for entertaining purposes. What we're trying to do is we're trying to save lives worldwide. To do this, we need you. I have created a support page on Patreon. There's a link here. You can go there and you can join us. If you want to help us save lives, please join us on Patreon. But anyway, here it is, the rescue of Grika Chico. Telling the story of the Greek Hachiko. This is this dog that has been living by the side of the road for the past two years because his owner died in that precise spot. So he keeps on going back to the same place 
the locals are feeding him, but somehow they find beautiful and you know endearing story that he always goes back to the spot. So he's there. They're feeding him, he doesn't want to move. But the thing is that his owner is never gonna come back. And this dog is living by the side of the road on a curb. He's gonna die any day now. It's a miracle that he's still alive after two years. So the news caught on the story. It's a beautiful and daring story. But no one has thought, hold on a second, this dog is there, he's gonna die. His owner is not coming back. This is a beautiful story, but I think it's gonna be really beautiful if we turn it around. So we've come to Greece to find that dog and to get him home. So we're now on the ferry to the island of Hydra. In there we're gonna meet someone very special. Her name is Valia. Valia is a YouTuber. She runs a YouTube channel called The Orphan Pet. I am Valia and I'm from Athens, Greece. And Greece is a country where the strays are too many, the shelters are packed and adoptions are rare. She's a rescuer herself, she's very well known in the animal rescue community and she's gonna help us go and find that dog. Hopefully I will be able to convince her to come with us on that journey. We need a local contact and she will be great. Let's see what she has to say. Hey, Valia! <laughs> How are you? <gasps> so nice oh, to meet you! So nice to meet you! It's well, you! It's me. Oh my god. It's me. <laughs> How are you? Very nice to meet you. Wow, so what are you doing here? You're, you're on holiday? You're spending some time? I'm never on holiday. Oh, well, god. I am. Not really. This is a beautiful place. It you is know, beautiful. I was here 20 years ago. You were? 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was here 25. Yeah. When the old days. It's nice. Yeah. Nothing has changed. And they're still doing the thing with the donkeys. Kind of, this is what I'm here for. Okay. Well, that, yes. It's, the problem with the island is that there are no cars. So the only way to get building material, to get nice. fridges or nice. any electric devices up in the houses or to move the trash. It's donkeys or mules, actually. And also they are used in tourism, so there are a lot of campaigns asking the muleteers at least to respect their living conditions and their working conditions, that they work less hours, or they don't carry so much weight, stuff like that. That they have access to food and at least water when they're working or shade. They usually don't. I read about the problems in Santorini. They were carrying same thing. huge tourists. Yes. The same? Hey, it's the same. The problem is that they were always using those islands because there was no other way to transport anything. So and this now, is the apart traditional from that, way to it is it is kind of tradition. Apart from that, now they're also using tourism. So apart from carrying, you know, tourist luggage and everything, you can get, you know, donkey or mule foods around the island. Anyway, how are your dogs? I follow you in YouTube. This is great, I tell you. You have the three cutest animals. Thank you, they are the three cutest uh, animals <laughs> in the world. Yeah, the, the, tiny, the tiny bulldog. What, what's her name? That's a girl, right? The bulldog. The bulldog. Laura. 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 Wow, she's the, the full name is Laura Clara Gonzalez Villaseñor. Oh my God, she has yes. more surnames than me. Yes. Because <laughs> she's very important, so she has. Yeah, 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 yeah. Name yeah. yeah. Yeah, in Spain it's the same. The, yes. more, the more important you are, the more surnames you have. So Laura is very important. She's yeah, the one she, has, with the four she names. has four or five. The no? other ones have one. <laughs> okay, wow. Well, so we're gonna go back to Athens later. I mean, hopefully we, I get to meet them because yes. I only see them on YouTube. But it's, uh, yes, no, oh. you should meet them. You guys, I'm very excited about meeting you too. You guys, you guys, <laughs> you guys have to, you have to, you guys have to oh, see the channel. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. This is the life of an animal rescuer and a communicator in uh, in Greece. It's a it's a beautiful one. I'll, I'll give you the link later. You okay, can have a look. I'm blushing. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> anyway, welcome. But I'm sorry that it's so hot.
Salud. Salud. Bienvenidos. Gracias. Tell us about, tell us a little bit about your channel, your involvement in animal welfare. How did it all start? Uh, it all started one day where I found my dog Apollo. He was abandoned right in front of my my apartment. So I did what I thought I should do. So I just picked him from the street and brought him home. And that's how it started. I just did a video about him because he was scared, he was abused, he was an abandoned hunting dog, wooden hand, uh, whatever. So I did a small video about him doing, you know, simple commands. He was an adult. He was an abused dog. I really believed in him. Now I believe in every abandoned, abused dog. I started volunteering at my local charity, doing videos for them, and that, that's it. <laughs> And, and you, here we are and, with you. And you now have, <laughs> she now has close to 200,000 people. I mean, I know how difficult it is to get to that number. It is when you're on your own. But it, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I, still, I still can't believe it. I like it. You Thank happy? you. That's it. Yeah. Yes, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy and I really, really love what I do. Is your channel the only one of its kind in Greece? How is Not that, how really. Is I would like to think that it's unique. May, maybe. It's the only one that has maybe such a wide um, range of topics and a wide audience, I think. Are there any shelters, any other organizations that you like or enjoy? Or how many? Follow? I try to support and uh, usually I do videos. I might do some blog posts or take photos. I try to support anyone I can who is normal because there are people like everywhere. There are so anyone who has the same ideas like we have and believes in the same things, yes, I try to support them any way I can. So I travel a bit, it's, it's not easy. Especially in the countryside, in Greece is a big countryside, which is mainly basically one city, which is Athens. The, outs the outskirts of Athens start being rural, and as you move from there, it's a big, more rural area where animal welfare is an, an unknown world, world literally. What do you think of the case that we're here for? We came to, to we saw this uh, report on the news, it went viral about this Greek Chico. And I was so sad because I imagined this dog living there for two years, waiting for the owner, never to come back, and he's never gonna come back. And no one is doing anything about him. He, they just like him there. Yes, so I, 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 I don't know. In, I think in a way they're trying to to imitate because it was presented as the Greek Hachiko, which of course, whichever dog stays put in a place, in a place where he was abandoned or in a place where something happened, it's a Hachiko. So it's 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 easy to present a story this way because it goes viral and it's very emotional. It's very human-centered also as a story because it has to do with a person also who died, not just with the dog, because with four five, we don't know the numbers exactly, but four or five million stray dogs in, in Greece. Five. So much five. focus on, on one dog on the part of the mainstream media. There has to be something that, you know, is, is different than all the other dogs. But those, kind of, those kind of stories, they, they really attract people's attention and that they, they, have, they have the potential to change people's minds. This is why we rescue the animals we rescue. Yes, because every animal you rescue is like an ambassador for all the rest. Because you can't rescue them all. But you, you can make this one animal with this particular very emotional story like an, an ambassador and many people change people's minds about abandoned dogs, about dogs who have suffered loss, about dogs who have been hurt, abused, whatever. So they symbolize all the rest, and all the rest are millions, and in the world, almost a billion. Do you think it's going to be easy to find him? I hope so. Uh, I hope so. I believe in you. <laughs> you believe in us? <laughs> this is great. I, I mean, do. we believe in us I ourselves, really, but uh, really it's going to be so. tricky. Yeah, he deserves better. I guess it's, it's, it's emotional, I guess the people, you know, like to tell and retell this story about his sitting there next to that, you know, little shirt thing that we built and someone is killed yeah. on the road. Yeah, because that structure is something that is built when there is an accident. Yes, there, right? yes, when there is an accident. Usually you can build it when you survive it also, uh, but normally, and that's how you know whether uh, if the road is very dangerous, you see a lot of them. You know, maybe there aren't any signs. You know, sharp turns, sharp left, or whatever. Yeah. But there are a lot of these. Not on wood. Anyway. 
also when uh, when you and I communicated for the first time last week uh, when I didn't believe it was, it was you oh yeah well, <laughs> that's story. things that sometimes people don't, don't, don't believe it's me they were like is this really you Victor I'm like I'm yeah, yeah it's me. no I have to say this that he is actually a very honest and very trusting person um, <laughs> no but uh, but but we also spoke about this uh, other dog in uh, in the south, it's Kalamata, right? Yes. Yeah. What's Kalamata happening with this dog? I mean, uh, the pictures look terrible. The, the jaw was broken, and they told me that he had uh, hard work, uh, worms inside the heart. Uh, yes, I, I happened actually. I happened to be to be there because I, I was trying to do a video. I interviewed some of the volunteers, so I happened to be there when he was brought in, um, and this lady brought him. So she. I can't really get the story straight exactly. Uh, I think he was a stray and then they recombed him and then the new owners abandoned him again or something like that. Somewhere in between all that, his jaw was broken and he got heartworn. Wow. Yeah, so, it's uh, so small, you know? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. It's like mm -hmm. a. It's like a cocker, right? Or a cocker mix or something? Yeah, yeah. And you get those shelters with you know, hundreds of dogs. The majority are, uh, you know, mixed breed, mid, 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 mid size, like you know, 20, 30, 40 kilos. And suddenly, when you get the little ones, they're, they're all dogs, of course, and we love them all. But those little ones, like, oh my god. It's just so old. It's just so small. It's such a big world. The thing with this doggy is that not only he has the jaw broken, he also has hard work. Unless we get him, this dog is gonna die there. And I've seen pictures and I, I know they're doing a wonderful job. They're really trying hard, but this dog is just not gonna make it. So we're gonna try to go back to Spain with both dogs. Um, it's not sure that we're gonna be able to even find one, but we're definitely gonna do our best. I believe in you, you can do it. Some dogs don't know how lucky they are because they're now, you know, somewhere off on the street, you know, hungry, thirsty, whatever, been there for years. But there's Victor Larkin, <laughs> who is planning on, you know, going to rescue them. Sometimes people Weird. are sometimes people are shocked. They don't know how lucky they are. Yeah. Well, I really hope it works. Sometimes people are shocked when they find out that we are going there just for them. But oh well. It's a brave new world, I would say. Thank you for coming to Greece. Before you say anything, this guy is staying here. I can't carry a plane load of cats. Okay, <laughs> don't ask me again. It was wonderful to meet Valia. We spent a few hours with her in uh, the island of Hydra, and uh, she really helped us getting a getting a grasp with the reality here and what we're gonna face tomorrow. I really hope that tomorrow she can join us on this uh, journey to rescue rescue this poor dog. But um, we we'll see, we we'll see. She's really busy. She's about to to send a dog to the United States and she's incredibly busy at the time. So we'll see. Now we are driving. We're gonna stay in a very special place. 
I have a few friends from a, from a previous life and one of them has lent me his apartment. I think it's a really nice gesture. I haven't seen the guy for many years, but when, I, when he heard that I was coming to Athens, he said, look, look, I have a place. It's empty at the moment. Stay there. Stay there with your friends. So I thought, okay, that's going to save us some money. So we're going to stay there. Let's see. ¿Pero qué es esto? ¿A qué se dedica tu amigo? No sé. Espérate, 60, aquí es. ¡Es aquí! Sí, es aquí. I mean, look, it's, it's interesting, but my it's a nice thing my friend did. But be careful. <laughs> Okay, safe house. Madre mía. ¿Qué es esto? I'm gonna, I'm gonna contact him. This is great. This is really great. It's, just a, it's a nice thing. Look, uh, Sandra will stay there. You stay there, I stay there. Paris. Great, isn't it? Yeah, it's so great. And look at this shot. Look at this. Is this? What the hell is this? Is this the <laughs> shot? Oh, yeah. Two weeks ago. 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 Left a bottle for us. Yeah, it's great. Un buen detalle. Amazing, really? Yeah. Great. What about the views? This is so weird. Tell me if you're gonna I'm gonna tell Steve something that uh, we're here and this is La base de operaciones. Look, I met Steve in, in Africa uh, many years ago, and uh, he was um, he was doing uh, he was doing um, intelligence supports, or that's that's what he told me. Very interesting. Sometimes he would call me from from Africa. Sometimes he'll call me from Southeast Asia, from Russia, and and years ago I heard that he was based here in Athens.
going to go pick up Valia. She's gonna join us on this trip today. We're gonna rescue this dog no matter what. We have to find him, it's gonna be really difficult, but we're gonna get there. But now, first we have to get out of this place. This is a, a mess, look at this. That was my parking spot, <laughs> Victor. <laughs> Valia's house. So excited, so excited. The girl is great. Really nice. Hola. Hola. Anno Basiliki. Vamos a Anno Basiliki. Sí, sí, el artículo que era. We're going to Anno Basiliki, Chalkeia. Este, ¿no? Sí, supuestamente este. Sí, se está cerca de acá. Cruzamos la puente cuando lleguemos. Y después. Sí. Pues aquí está. Vámonos. Sí, from Athens to Anno Basiliki. Let's go. Vámonos. Espero que esté allá. Estará. Estará. Eres un día de sol. Eres un día de para sentarlo. ¿Cómo me quiero imaginar una mía? No repito. No. Que qué marca. Valia, this time. I have noticed there are, there are less dogs. Last time I was in Athens, it was 20 years ago. And I don't see as many dogs as I saw before. In, in the downtown, you mean? Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, downtown. See, 20 years ago, to tell you the truth, I, I don't know, but I know that they collected them all before the Olympic Games, which happens, not the first place this happens. They, they need to clean everything up and clean their streets, so they're annoying. So, I don't really know that story very well, but I know that eventually vol volunteers stepped in and they took them to a, to a shelter. So, those dogs left the center then, and now these ones are new ones that suddenly appeared. Maybe they're less because it's so hot, <laughs> so they keep hiding. There are not that many, actually. I remember those two dogs. There was one, there was one Canelos, and he was like an anarchist dog. Yes. He was always Okay, and, and, then, and then there was another one after. Lucanicos. Lucanicos. He was the same. They looked alike also. I think they were, had the same color. They did the same thing. It was the riot anarchist dogs. They were very famous. Yes, I mean, very. Especially the, the last one. Well, I remember Lucanicos because he was the last one. Canelos, I was younger. There aren't so many photos and videos of him. Uh, I think. Incredible doggies. They were I'm, amazing. They were like people. And I think people like them because they always took the, the right side of the fight. <laughs> We're heading to Patra to, to try to rescue this dog, the Greek Hachipo. That, uh, I don't know if he even has a name, we're going to have to look into this, but what do you think but we're going to find? You see, we didn't, we didn't, there was no mention of the dog's name. No, <laughs> unbelievable. There, there wasn't, yeah, maybe they didn't know. I, I, don't, I hope that he's 
that he's there. I don't know if he's near that, that village that is mentioned in the article or he's like between villages or in the middle of the, of the road, which looks like he's going to be run over. It's a very dangerous place to live in. I really, I really... I hope he's there. I really hope that he's there. I mean, he looks friendly and very sweet. We are ready to be... A bit insecure. Yeah. He looked in, in that, that... Yeah, he was like, like shy. Yeah. We are we're ready to give him a great life. If, if he's there, I promise you, his life is gonna change like you wouldn't believe it. No, but I we're mean, also but we're also ready not to find him. There's also a chance that he's not gonna be there. So this mission might end up in failure after all. No. I mean seriously, I mean, it happens. Really guys, it can if you're it. watching this, we don't know how this is gonna end. No. This happens a lot and you get you get a call or you see a dog or whatever, you wanna go rescue and they tell you he's there. You can drive for three, four hours. It's like a wild goose chase. You never know. Because it's just a dog on the street. You don't know if he's gonna be there. Yeah. Anything happens. I know many people that are gonna be watching this. I'm gonna say, especially after what happened to us the other day in Tunisia when we went to rescue two kitties, they're gonna say that this is not worth it, that this is this is ridiculous efforts. And do you think this is good for something? Or are you one of those ones who think that this is crazy? Me. Yes. I've driven hours and hours for one particular dog. It's, it's, it's always worth it, especially for this one animal whose life you change. When you see these stories and you connect with the, with the animal and his circumstance, it's really difficult to forget them. I mean, I get lots of letters from people who ask me to help exactly. certain animals all around the world. They, they please help this dog. Nobody tells me help the dogs. I mean, that's that's not. We're humans, we, we get focused on stories and we on specific animals. I don't know, I mean I really think that this is that this is a good thing. trying to find something appealing for the dog and there's nothing but look what we got cat food they love the smell so maybe one of those is gonna work let me see but it's close this is gonna work if he's there when he sees this he's mine Getting close, only tw only 10 minutes, 12 minutes to where the dog is supposed to be. I'm so stressed. I have no idea what we're gonna find. I have no idea if he's gonna be there. La Factos, no? Is that the one? No. No. Rita, it's a lobby. Maybe this way. This is the way we came in before. This is the way. Oh, there's another roundup. Well, this what? is supposed to be the way. So what happened? You think he's gonna be there? No, I hope he has to be there. Where else? Would, where else would he be? Come on, he has to be there. Yeah. What happened if yesterday a car ran him over? What happened if he's already dead? Well, I mean, well, okay, he, he's already dead. They say he's been there. Yeah, no, they say he's been there. They, they, they say he's been there for 18 months. 18 months. So if he has remained alive for 18 months and he was, you know, run over yesterday, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, well, can't be that unlikely. No, we can't be that unlikely. Not even a dog can be that unlikely. No. Please keep an eye. Sorry. Sandra, keep an eye, okay? Yeah, we don't know on which side of the street. It's a turn. It's a turn that bends to the left. Remember the, the video? So yeah, it was yeah. a turn that bending to the left. So there was a side, it's mountain side bending to the left. So it could be like, like something like this. Wow, there's been so many accidents here. You can see there are lots of, uh, you know, remembrances for people that died on this road. There's lots of them. We are driving between the mountain and the sea. There's a hundred meter cliff over here. And this is where this dog lives. 
people are so happy. Oh, oh the Greek Hachiko, the Greek Hachiko. Greek Hachiko? How can you do this? Ah, no, it's, it's a turn like this. It's a curva como esta. Mira, 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 mira. mira. Ahí murió alguien. Wow. En España ponemos flores y así. Aquí ponen capillas. Sí, sí. Vale, fija. Ok. Just, just please, please have a look. And uh, they say that it was near an animal shelter. So if you see an animal shelter sign, that's the way. I don't know. Just, it's a charm like this. Wow, this is so we stressful. We won't see a sign for an animal shelter. A sign for the nearest village, probably. Things that I know. If, if people know that we're going to get this dog, they will create problems. They will. They won't let us have him. They would rather. Anyway, I don't want to think about it. You know that there is this movement in Greece that uh, it speaks for you know the animals belong uh, on the streets and that we steal them when we rescue them. And, and you, you get that. You go get the dog. And you're like, what are you doing to this dog? Leave it there belongs here, doesn't belong to you. No, so it's... Mira, 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 mira. Claro, vamos al pueblo, pero está en la carretera que va al río, me dijiste, ¿no? Sí, eso decían. Pues vamos a ver por aquí. Vamos a ver por aquí, si no volvemos. Es que me parece. Mira. Mira, mira, mira. Aquí está, aquí está. 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 Aquí Vale, espérate, vamos a, ir, vamos a ir solo Sergio y yo, ¿vale? O, o veniros, pero no, no hagáis mucho ruido. Look, this is... We found the place. This is it. We found it. This, uh, this is where this dog lives. So now, he's not there. So we have to... We have to find a place where he could be. Esperamos. Los, los, los... Ah, no, he's there, he's there. Está ahí, está ahí, está ahí. No os mováis, no os mováis. Está ahí, está ahí. Está ahí, está ahí, está ahí. Ábreme, espérate, a ver, a ver, voy yo, voy yo, voy yo. Dejadme que voy yo solo, ¿vale? Está ahí atrás, está ahí atrás. Hola, 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 ven aquí. Mira, mira, hola, 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 hola. We're gonna leave a note for the people that have been taking care of him. Vamos a dejar una nota para para la persona que lo ha estado cuidando, ¿vale? Nos hemos llevado al perrito. No te preocupes, estará muy bien. Contactaremos al periódico. Nada, sí. 
¿vale? Sí, no te preocupes, sí, estará claro. muy bien. Okay. Lo verás muy pronto. Okay. Qué fuerte. Buah, increíble. So we have left a note for the people that took care of him, telling him not to worry. We got the dog. We can leave him here, and we are promising him that we will call the newspaper, the local newspaper, and we will tell them where he is and what happened. This is so great. This is so great. This is, look, we've done great things, but this is one of the best. <laughs> this is one of the best we've ever done. So happy. It's good, huh? <laughs> and guys, thanks to all of you who help us get over here and do this, because this is thanks to you. So happy, unbelievable, and now we are going to save another dog. I will tell you more about this tomorrow. But before you go, I want you to see how this story ends. I'm going to show you what happens when we get to our home in Spain. This is a chico's new life. Feels like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes How could I ever let you go now when you're looking like that? Can't get enough of this, being with you is a never ending sunshine You got your high heels on you how many difficulties we had to rescue this dog we had to face all conceptions of animal rescue we had to face people who didn't want him to be rescued because they thought the story was cute because they believed that by mourning his owner he was uh, expressing his wish the fact is that Hachiko needed a home he needed to be out of danger and it's our obligations as human beings and as animal rescue to do precisely that. Good morning, it's four in the morning. We are at the airport. We are gonna take Hachiko home. Where are we going? I cannot tell you. It's gonna be a big surprise.
he's so nice. Just to think that he was outside on the road for so long, just there waiting, not you know, not able of moving, scared. It's terrible, terrible. And when you think that those people wanted him there, and when you think that so many people were against his rescue. Wow, seriously, can you imagine how we feel? Is this the best feeling in the world? <laughs> this is a great victory. But wait, wait. You're gonna see the life that he's gonna have. We are now in Frankfurt. <laughs> so we are now in Frankfurt, in Germany. But this is not the end destination of Achico. The trip has just begun. We are changing planes now. A couple of hours wait, but it's going to be worth it. The gate is Z. 62 Lufthansa Frankfurt to to where to where to, we don't know <laughs> we don't know yes we know but it's a surprise <laughs> we are about to board look there's so many people so many people waiting you know what sometimes we get comments of people that say that we go on holidays that this is all that we go on crazy trips and this is just a holiday um, yeah, we are just crossing the world back and forth in two days to go on holidays. Look, let me tell you a quick story. I have two four-year-old children and on Monday is the first day of school. You know, that moment when the parents take the children to school on the first day. I will not be there because I'm taking Hachiko home. So, I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I'm actually very happy, I'm very proud of what I do and what we all do. But if you ever hear that we go on holidays for the dogs, just, uh, just think about this. I don't know if you have children or not. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But if you do, I'm sure you remember that first day of school. I will not remember that day because I will not be there. Because I'll be flying back. Anyway, on the good side of it, this is what I just received from home. Look at this. I have two very beautiful children. They are very happy. And hopefully one day they'll be very proud of what we've done over the years. Yeah, so let's fly. The seat is 94H, which means that we are at the back of the plane. Statistically, it's the worst place to, place to sit in a plane. 94H. We are in New York. That was the surprise. Uh, Hachiko has been adopted in a, in a beautiful place up north, about an hour and a half drive. I'm gonna take him there. This is, uh, we love New York. It's an amazing place. And every time we come here, adoptions are always so successful and really, we love the place. So let's see if he comes out of the oversized luggage area. New York, New York.
now we're gonna, we're gonna take the car. We rented a car. We have a big box. This is uh, something that you have to do. So we're gonna Jamaica. Honestly, I was expecting better weather, but you know. Winter is coming, winter is coming. This is this is America. Everything is huge here. So he's comfortable. He's had a good trip, and now we're starting the drive home. Hi, Hachi. Welcome to America. Qué coche más grande. Wow. This is so big. Look at this. Okay. Yeah. Holy. Nice. Cuidado, cuidado, que está lloviendo. No, no. no close this. Too thing. much, too much. Cerra esto, cerra esto. Vale, ahora. Venga, vámonos, va. Qué bien. So nice. Look at this. So big. Sí o no, si es por aquí. After an eight hour flight, we are in New York. And what are we doing here? We are bringing Hachiko home. Hachiko is this dog that we rescued from Greece last month. We got him. <laughs> it's one of the most heartbreaking stories that we have ever encountered. Hachiko's owner died by the side of the road and then he kept on returning to the same spot and he had been living there under the scorching sun for nearly two years. The family of the owner, instead of taking the dog home and just giving him a normal life, they say that they brought him back to the house but he kept on escaping. Honestly, I don't believe it. Now, after all this time and after having had him with me for, for a few weeks now, I can tell you that Hachiko was never brought home. They abandoned him by the side of the road. He had nowhere to go. This poor animal had nowhere to go. What made it even more absurd and surreal is that millions of people knew where he was. Everyone knew his story. It went viral. It was in Boar Panda, The Dodo, Newsweek, Time Magazine, it was everywhere. And this poor dog, while the world was watching and thinking how beautiful he was, he was just dying there by the side of the road. So we went to Greece and we rescued him and it was one of the most beautiful moments that we have ever lived as rescuers and as, as, as human people, really. That was just so beautiful. This is, look, we've done great things, but this is one of the best. <laughs> this is one of the best we've ever done. So happy, it's good, huh? <laughs> so we brought Hachiko with us to Spain. We took him to the hospital. He was fine, full of fleas, but uh, but he was okay. And he has been with me for a month. During this time, we looked for the perfect home for him. There were some people that rode from Spain, from Germany, from all over Europe and all over the world. So we had a wide variety of of options. In the end, we chose family that we felt uh, could provide him with a better life. I'm really happy that we're here and I think this is going to be the perfect ending for Hachiko's story. We're now on the way home and uh, 
you're gonna be meeting the family and you're gonna be seeing how he's gonna live and, and I want you to compare the life that he had before and the life that he's gonna have now and this is what we're doing here we are giving them perfect lives we want these animals that have gone through so much we want them to have better lives than our own so this is it Hachiko Hachiko in one hour you're gonna be home are you happy tell me are you happy okay he's happy <laughs> now the traffic jam New York This car, this car has a heating system on the on, on the seats. It also has a like a refrigeration. Let's see if it's, it's over here. Yeah, that one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The feeling? Wow! <laughs> oh my God! It's like a. Ooh, this is great! Oh my God! Wow! How nice! <laughs> Uh, American cars, really, I, I prefer German cars, they're better made, but when it comes to comforts and gadgets and things like that, wow, my butt is cold right now, this is just great, look at me, look at me, look at me, fantastic. I have the same but yours is, my one is white with no modifications. This is great. Really cool. We are nearly there, we're five minutes away. This whole area is so beautiful. There's forests everywhere, you have beautiful homes, left, right. Wow, it really is, it's so beautiful. Wow. Today's been a really bad day because of the rain and stuff, but I think tomorrow we're gonna have such beautiful images. Did you bring your drone, Sergio? Yes, of course. You brought it. Wow. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Hogar Dulce Hogar. Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. This is Elsa. Nice to meet you, Elsa. Come, come on. This is Joe. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. So, here is the man. Ta -da. Ta -da -da. Hi, Hachi. Hey. <laughs> So you remember like what you. to do, right? I know. You put your hand down so we can smell you, okay? Yeah. <laughs> the tail is going crazy. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh.
still, you know, lots of abuse and lots of. Every country is different. Every country has different problems. Yeah. And in Turkey, where I was living, the situation of the animals was was worse, I think. <laughs> in Spain, you have lots of great homes. Yeah. But also lots of abandonment. And yeah. yeah. I think it's like that in the U.S. with different parts I of the country as well. Like yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Bad. yeah, it's bad. It's yeah, a, you there. know, certain, certain states. Yeah, yeah, sweetie, of course. So he was like pestering her all the time, yeah. pestering, pestering yeah. her. Now he's, he's more relaxed. He's, yeah. He's chill. yeah. He's chill. I don't know. I'm more worried about the cat being mean to him. Yeah. No, <laughs> I don't know. I just put her in another room for now where she can't access just because no, I, I just want to make sure. Yeah. Come in. You have an amazing yeah. place. Oh, thank yeah, you. This is like it, our, uh, our little like where we enter our yeah, mudroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mud Do they call it that? Nachi, que estás muy a gusto aquí, madre mía, ¿cómo vas a estar? Tienes niños, tienes niños que antes no tenías. I believe there were several times where I was like, well, if you want to bring more than one over, you can bring one over. <laughs> like, any of the friends want to come? Anyway, maybe, I guess, for next time. Sure. I mean, I, and I really hope there is a next time. Yeah. Because this guy is super social. Yeah. Really is. Yeah. Is he, he's going to be, he'll be totally. First of all, I'm here all day. And yes, of I, I, I don't leave, you know, I work from home. I yeah, wait yeah. for the kids. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Um, so I'm excited for that, you know, there's all this like amazing hiking trails and creeks and puppy play days happening. <laughs> Everyone's all into it. I've got like 20 texts like, is he, is he there yet? Is he there yet? <laughs> um, yeah. So Anthony is Italian, but he looks a little Greek. So maybe, oh. maybe the Greek Hachiko will like the Italian-looking Greek Anthony.
bueno, ya estamos de pie. Hemos estado en la casita de invitados. Una cosa muy, muy guay y civilizada. Y... y ahí está. Buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Qué tal la noche, madre mía? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo es la noche? This is much better than the roadside in Greece. Definitely. Just me following the line that the stars have drawn. That's why I'm in the wind. That's where you'll find me. I'm in the wind. Long, long gone. I knew. The old dog Baker lies, the bird in there. Beautiful place. It's a really nice place to be, huh? Yeah. It might seem bold, headless and careless, heading down in the cold with no direction. Chico had a great night. The kids slept with him. <laughs> His life has changed so much. So in the morning half and the evening half. What is this for? This is because he was new to the other day. Oh, so, right, right. so anti-inflammatory okay. and infection. Oh, got it. But he's very well, so no problem. So, so um, half, 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 half. Got it. So half three half. more days. something like this without breaking into tears. <laughs> <laughs> Y 
it's 12 30 we're leaving the house we're gonna be heading to new york and then flying back to spain but before we go we're gonna join the family in uh in <laughs> they are going to play uh, soccer the the kid uh, is going to soccer school today is the first uh, class the first lesson so we're making a family outing with them with Hachiko and uh, we're gonna meet some of their friends it's gonna be really nice the place the town where they live is gorgeous it's a nice beautiful wholesome American family and we're gonna spend a couple of hours with them doing what they do on a Saturday morning we're so happy we came here so happy About yesterday, your smile, your star so fly, my oh my. As time stood still, I got the urge, still kiss, and so I do. Now I'm embarrassed, but just a little bit. Oh, there must be gold on those. Oh yes, this is farewell for <laughs> So Hachiko went to an amazing home where he has a fantastic life. He lives in New York, outside New York. Uh, he's safe and really amazing guy. Incredible transformation. And I really keep fingers crossed for him and his family in this time of uh, uh, catastrophe. I really hope that they are, they are okay. I, I need to give them a call to see how they're doing. So guys, thanks a lot for being here. Thank you very much for supporting this channel, for supporting this rescue. These stories couldn't happen without you. If Hachiko's story moved you in any way, if Betsy's story yesterday, if all the stories that we're telling you of our work of years, uh, if all of these stories move you, just please join us. We need you. There's so much going on here. We cannot be left out in the dry. I know this situation right now is terrible for for most of us, uh, but we just happen to have a massive responsibility on top of everything. For me, it's not just taking care of my family and my own ass. It's just that I have this thing going on with 40 animals in two rescue centers and rescues at the hospital and constant you know, demands for help and 
guys, we need you. There's a PayPal link at the bottom of this video. Just if you want to help us, if you want to help us save more animals like a Chico, just click there. It's on PayPal. And if you want to be with us for the long term, even if, it, even if it is for a small amount, just click on the Patreon link and join us. We need you. We cannot do this without you. Please, at this time of crisis, remember that the animals matter too. Lots of love and I'll see you tomorrow or on Monday. Take care.